Well, Monday, April 15th is the deadline to file your 2023 federal income taxes. And here we are with Robert Buon, who's going to tell us what you need to know to file your federal returns. He's joining us now live with everything you need to know. Good morning, Robert. Cynthia, good morning. Yeah, as of today, there's now less than a week before your tax returns are due. So as we get closer to that deadline, there are some important issues that will probably be helpful for everyone to keep in mind. As that April 15th tax deadline gets closer, the IRS wants taxpayers to know that there is still time to file federal tax returns electronically. Now, e-filing, it's extremely convenient. It helps reduce errors as tax software does the calculations, flags common mistakes, and prompts taxpayers for missing information. One of the best benefits, by choosing direct deposit, electronic filers usually get their refund in less than three weeks. Another important reminder for this time of year, as these deadlines approach, so too do the number of scams that surface related to filing your taxes. A prevailing scam uh, has, has to do with phishing or smishing. And our first warning focuses on those two types, and it's an attempt to steal information. The first, phishing, is an email sent by fraudsters claiming to come from the IRS and the email lures the victims into the scam with a variety of ruses, such as enticing the victims with a phony tax refund or threatening them with false legal or criminal charges for tax fraud. Bierman also mentioned smishing. That's similar to phishing, but it's a text or smartphone message where scammers often use alarming language, such as your account has now been put on hold or unusual activity report. Then they offer bogus solutions through a link asking for your personal information. Now, so reviewing some of these important notes to keep in mind again, less, we're just six days away now from that deadline. One exception to that though, anyone who is impacted by the Maui wildfires, for them that deadline has been pushed back to August 7th. Now state returns, everybody gets an additional week after Monday to get those submitted IRS free file. That is available to most who make $79,000 or less and also to seniors. So you can get more information on that. Just go to irs.gov. That's where you can also go if you need to file an extension beyond the 15th so you can avoid any penalties. 